Welcome to this installment of Vocab Wednesday, and today we have rhyme time. Those two words rhyme, as do these GRE words. Here we have Kurt, which is a male given name, but this is an actual word, and we have Pert, which is nobody hopefully is named Pert. But these two right words, right, Kurt and Pert, what, what do they mean? Well, first off, Kurt is abrupt, almost to the point where you're very rude. So if you ask someone a question, how was your day today? It was fine. That would be Kurt. Not the person himself, but that response, again, is kind of abrupt and rude. Then we have Pert. Pert, interestingly, refers more to females, typically. Though, again, Kurt could be males or females. But Pert is someone who's kind of cheeky and saucy and impudent. And so if you think of those words and you think of someone who's, oh, wow, I can't believe they behave so rude to me. And usually it's a young woman for whatever reason in literature. That's how it's been used. That word would be pert. Kurt and pert. Next on the agenda, we have royal and moil. Now, this is royal without the Y-A-L. And royal means to kind of move in the swirling, violent fashion. So if you roil the waters, they get all muddied up. But in a figurative sense, when you feel roiling emotions, that means you're overcome with emotions, usually negative emotions that are all contrasting and conflicting inside you. Moil, on the other hand, means to work hard. It doesn't really sound like it, and I'm moiling away through the night, but that means you'd be sitting at your desk studying GRE words if you were moiling away. The noun moil, interestingly, is just any drudgery or any work that's really boring. So hopefully learning all these words is not moil, but it is fun. Next, we have anir and sinecure. What do these words mean? Well, year and year, they definitely kind of rang. To become anir to something is to get used to it, to become accustomed to it. For instance, if you move to a new apartment, it's really noisy outside. Hopefully you'll get anir to the sound and be able to sleep. I live in a very noisy place and I'm still not anir to the sound. Sinecure is all about comfort, where near is usually about something unpleasant. A sinecure is a position, a job that's kind of plush or easy. You don't really have to do much, and you still get paid. You kind of just show up, hey, how you doing, guys, and sit down at your desk, check the stock market and the news, and do not much of anything. It's usually used for people who have done a, a decent job in some other position, maybe in politics. They've held a government role, and now they're getting a little bit older, don't want to let them go completely, or they're not ready to retire, so just get them an easy position, and that's a sinecure. So anear, get accustomed to something unpleasant, sinecure, not much anearing going on, and I will see you next week, same time, same place.